Secret number one. When you start doing tutorials, when you start trying to learn ZBrush, you're gonna find different artists that do the same thing in different ways. Some of them do it faster, some of them do it a little bit more precise. It doesn't really matter. It's kind of like the same goal, different approaches. So the whole point is to be able to recognize that there are multiple ways of doing the same thing. And when you learn a technique that might help you go a little bit faster in the way that you do something, then you can adapt to it. So that brings me to my second secret of learning ZBrush, which is systematize before you optimize. So that is absolutely crucial because I see a lot of my students as well, they, they wanna jump into uh, details or they wanna jump into customizing brushes because that is going to produce something a little bit faster. The thing is, if you don't understand the core and the fundamentals and the basics, you're trying to optimize something without uh, covering the system. So my recommendation would be is to learn the system or create a system for yourself. Try to find the system that works for you with the tools that I'm going to give you. You create a sphere, then you put two eyes and that's it. That is your system. Now, the third secret in ZBrush is actually a, a shift in the, in the mindset. The, the secret really is to embrace the difference because that's where the strength of ZBrush lies. ZBrush is a very powerful software, but it's very, very unique because of the way that it was developed. That is just to say it's a, a shift in mindset and approach ZBrush and embrace it because of the unique uh, software that it is.